Hi folks, and welcome to this um, equation explainer on resultant force. Now, if you've got a flashcard ready or a piece of paper even, um, you might want to jot things down as usual. If you want to pause the video at any point, do so, take some notes. I'll try and do this quickly so it doesn't take too long and you can get on with the rest of your revision. So, let's start with the ideas of resultant force. If we want to um, know the resultant force on an object, we need to know two things, and those are specifically the mass and the acceleration. So the resultant force is the product of the mass and the acceleration A. Okay, now often we might call this Newton's second law. That's not quite what the form of Newton's second law was. However, it is um, a kind of a good rough approximation, especially at GCSE level. Certainly not if you're at AAS. Uh, A2 or IB level, okay, you'd have to go a bit deeper than that, but for now we're just looking at the basic equation. Okay, so we've got force F, mass M, and acceleration A. We've got the units there in the square brackets. We should be familiar with this triangle. This is our force mass acceleration triangle. A force on the top is the, ma the product of mass and acceleration. And so the way we would write this in three ways, we've got F equal to MA, we've got M equal to F divided by A, and A equal to F over M. Now what I would encourage you to do is to remember the top one there, F equal to MA, um, because the other ones come from there. There's no need to remember three equations. That is a lot for your brains to take. Okay, and so we want to try and remember F equal to MA. How might we do that? Well, as usual, I'm going to provide you with a mnemonic. I think this one's okay. Okay, my attempt there is forces make acceleration. Okay, F, M, A, F equal to M, A. Okay, now this is probably not strictly true. Some advanced physicists probably pulling their hair out thinking that that's not 100% true. However, it's good for us um, today. Okay, just simply trying to remember those equations. If we see, the, we see a force and we see an acceleration, we can calculate the mass, etc., etc. Okay. Now, as I've said in previous videos, if you want to pause this at this point so that you can then get on and, um, and sort of take some notes, please do so. If you're ready to go, proceed on to the next uh, slide, which is an example question. Okay. Now, again, it may be a, a, a good idea to pause at this point and just have a read of the question and maybe try it yourself. And I've deliberately chosen this question because it's a three marker, which involves a little bit of work. Okay, we're asked here to calculate, to show, sorry, that the, the force on this horse, uh, force on the horse, that's a nice rhyme, is 1,350 newtons. Okay, now you notice in the question we're told the mass, we're told the maximum speed, we're told some time, and we're told a distance. So we're not actually told all of the things that we might think we need for a straightforward F equal to MA question. Okay, and that's why this one is a three marker. If you notice here, your instant um, sort of approach may be to use F equal to MA. So what you should be doing then is going off and finding F, finding M, finding A. And the only one that's given in the, the top line of the question is our, um, our M. We do not know F and we don't know A. We're being asked to prove F, so we ideally don't want to use it at this point. And what this means is we're going to have to find the other ones. We're going to have to find A. Well, let's look at the rest of the information. We know we have a speed of 9 meters per second. We know that we have something starting from rest. In other words, it was um, had speed zero at the beginning. And we know a time. And what we can then do, okay, is use that information. We've got acceleration is question mark. V is equal to 9. U equal to 0. And T equal to 3. Why is that important? Well, it means we can use that to calculate our acceleration. Okay, A is equal to V minus U over T. 9 take away 0 all divided by 3, equal to 3 meters per second squared. And now that we know A, we can then use our values of uh, mass and acceleration to calculate the force. So this is a really good example of a three mark question where you're required to just do a little bit more work Okay, if you were getting marks here, you really would be required to get um, go through all stages of this. So we're not just looking at straightforward F equal to MA. As soon as you see that three down in the bottom right hand corner, you're going to have to do something else. Could be a unit conversion, could be an extra layer of calculation as in here, or it could be something else. Okay, so just pay attention to the marks. 
two mark questions, nice and simple, nice and easy, go straight through them. Um, three markers, a little bit more effort. Okay, I hope that's clear. I hope that's helped you with a little bit of revision. I hope you've practiced the question. If you've got any questions, if you've got anything you'd like to see, please send me a comment underneath the video. And if you'd like to see more of these videos, subscribe to the channel. You'll get a notification when they come up straight away so you can watch them without me sending them over to you and hassling you. All right, all the best with your physics revision and keep in touch.